And can you elaborate on this idea of AI as a reasoning engine? I know you alluded to a future where we will have tools just like humans have tools for completing specific tasks and the AI will be able to reason which tool is required to achieve a specific task. Can you elaborate on that idea a bit? Andrej Karpati gave a great talk recently that I had tweeted, said LLMs can use tools. An LLM can multiply a three-digit number with another three-digit number, but way more efficient and more likely to be more accurate to just pick up a calculator and do the calculation in a predictable way. If you are, and certain things are database lookups, that's a tool. So databases are a tool. You don't have to guess at things that probabilistically arrive at answers. You can get precise answers. I would say, and this is a really big part of the new agent architectures uh, and multi-agent architectures, where they get to use the tools that be most effective for a task. They get to break down any task into the components and call different tools. If I'm going to get to my next meeting in time, I may need to look at my, I will need to look at my calendar and say, where is the location? I will have to look up on Google Maps and say, what's the traffic? I'll have to look up on Uber to make sure what's, how long does an Uber take to come? Composing all those tasks an agent will do and then use these tools like an Uber app to compose an answer and get me an answer. It may need to check the weather if the weather isn't good today or if there's an event going on and say, hey, this route will have uh, traffic or s some other event going on. You might want to avoid this or there's something on the freeway that you should avoid construction or something. So all these things are tools a good agent will deploy. I'm pretty excited about something like Rabbit, which is really what Rabbit is, and we've seen this in a number of instances, is a tool, uh, a model. They call it large action network, not a large language model. That's learned to use software. So model trained to use software. And that's very, very powerful in the context of agents. One of the more exciting things for those people who are in medicine, who are physicians, Mostly in the West, they're using an EMR or health record system called EPIC, which is very hard to use. And I just saw a statistic, an emergency room doctor goes through 4,000 clicks in a day, mouse clicks, trying to do whatever they do in a shift. I, I think that was the number. Some stunningly having a, a system that can use Epic without and talk to the human in natural language is pretty important. It saves a lot of physician time, probably saves a lot of errors. So we have a company trying to use, learn how to use Epic and other medical systems in the medical context to save doctors time, can save 30, 40% of a doctor's time because it's learned to use Epic and the doctor only needs to know how in, uh, their natural language and voice, which uh, obviously every physician knows or most physicians know how to use.